let us draw the PDA for a raised to n, b raised to n, where n is greater than or equal to 0. That means what? Epsilon string is a valid string. When we say a raised to n, b raised to n, that means double a and then double b. That means whatever number of a's that we have, followed by that num many number of b's should be there. So triple a followed by triple b is a valid string. Epsilon is a valid string. a, b is a valid string. 4 times a, 4 times b is a valid string. But what all invalid strings are there? So we have uh, a, b and after that b, a. Though this string contain equal number of a's and b, but this is not a raised to n, b raised to n because a is getting followed by b, which is not allowed. This b, a is an invalid string. So these two are, are invalid strings. So now uh, we want uh, PDA to be uh, developed for this particular string and remember that n is greater than or equal to 0 so epsilon string is a valid string now we'll uh, try to see how we implement it by using a stack the logic the algorithm that we are going to use let's uh, we are going to use let's see so uh, we will try to simulate it for triple a and then triple b and then we have blank so the z0 that is the uh, end of the stack is indicated by a blank symbol right now when I get first A from the input string, we are going to push it into the stack. The moment we get second A, we are going to push it that also into the stack. We get third A, we are going to push it into the stack. The moment we get first B, that means what? Now we are not going to receive A's, we are going to receive only B's. And that's why what we will do is we will pop for the first B, the topmost A. Right? Then we will move towards right. Then we will see again we are receiving a B. So for this particular B also we are going to pop the symbol from the stack. That is A we are going to pop out. Then we are going to pop, oh sorry, we are going to read the next input symbol that is B. For this particular B also we are going to pop the next symbol from the stack and check whether it is A or not. And if it is A we are going to continue. So what is the logic that we have used till now? Whatever number of A's that we receive, we are going to push all that A's onto the stack. The moment we receive the first B, we are going to pop the symbol from the stack and going to check what it is. If it is A, it's okay. But if it is blank, that means what? Number of B's are less than number, sorry, number of A's are less than B. So that will not be accepted. When on an input symbol, when we receive a blank, we are going to pop and check what is there in the stack. If it is B, it means it is a. Uh, uh, if it is blank, it means it was the uh, end of the stack, and the string will be accepted. So let us try to draw the symbol for this now. Uh, the PDA for this. So start. Read the first symbol. So when we are going to perform read, when we perform this read, read what are we supposed to get? I am just putting the number 1 over here because this is the first read that we have created. Whatever number of A's that we are going to get, we are going to push all A's onto the stack. So push A onto the stack and then we are going to continue the reading job. Now on reading, when we receive B, what does it mean? Now we have started with b raised to n part of the string so all a's have been already pushed onto the stack what we will do is pop the contents from the stack what we expect now is an a so for b that we have received red and when we pop we want a to be there so if that is the condition that means for uh, this particular b we have received an a from here okay Next, once we receive B, when once we start receiving B, what does it mean? After that, we should not receive A, so we should not use this particular read. We will be creating a new read function now because once we start reading B, we should not be able to read A. So we are performing a new read. When you perform this read and we get a B. Again, we are going to perform the same operation, pop A. Read, and we are going to call it as read to B, pop A. Right? Now, when we are reading B, we are expecting A to be pop. What if we read a blank? 
what does it mean that input string is over so when at this time when we perform the pop operation what is the output that we are expecting we are expecting a blank and if we get that thing we should accept the string that means string is a valid string and what if we receive a, an a that means number of a's were extra as compared to number of b's so the string should be rejected now uh, this was pop 1 this was pop 2 now uh, from every read operation we should have all the input possible uh, symbols ka outgoing path so from here we can see a path for a is there path for b is there but path for blank has not been created what if i get a blank over here when are we going to get blank over here when string is an epsilon string so when you performed read operation and on reading we got a blank so at that time what we will do is we'll try to pop the symbol i'm going to check what that symbol is if that symbol is blank that means string was a valid string so we should accept the string right uh, so from pop now a is there and what if we get a blank when were we using this pop to get pop an a when we have received a b now instead of a as the pop symbol what if we get blank as the pop symbol what does it mean that number of uh, a's were less than number of b's so in that case the string should be rejected so from this read what if in the second read i receive an a that means what uh, after getting a b we are receiving an a so that should be rejected so for this should be rejected so this is how we draw the pda for a raised to n b raised to n where n is greater than or equal to 0